Good day, everyone. My name is Nicole, and I'm here with Puka Dog and Puppy Finn. We got the boat settled after a nice morning walk, and I'm here to teach you on day 12 about pranayama. So it's my pleasure to introduce breath control, also known as life force control. We've been working with pranayama with all of our classes, but basically, in a nutshell, it's how you breathe. And one of my favorite descriptions of the breath is that how you are breathing is your energetic signature in life. So we have actually four responses to stress. So there's fight or flight, and then there's freeze or fornicate. What? So the freeze part is the one that we're most concerned about because what happens when we get stressed is we stop breathing. All of a sudden there's just this stop. So the average person apparently takes about 10% of their lung capacity's breath per inhalation and exhalation. So 10% of what you could do. And my best analogy for my reflexology clients is if you're driving your car and you go to the gas station, you're not just going to put $2 in, you're going to, or a toonie, you're going to fill the tank as much as you can. Um, again, whatever analogy you use, the vehicle is a really pertinent one because it just shows us the inefficiency of taking a really small amount of fuel or breath. We don't get very far. So when we have stress or when we have tension, we can't manage it. So today, it's my pleasure to introduce you to the four purification breaths and these are part of the pranayama or life force control that you learn especially when you're going into uh, doing a yoga teacher training that sort of thing or just learning how to purify your body the intention is that we start with three rounds of these breaths and then we're going to work our way up to ten rounds so there's four different breaths if you have something that you can sit on, go and put that underneath you so that you can get just a little bit more of a comfortable position with your hips a little bit higher. And this is a beautiful practice. We would do this in our yoga training every morning for an hour before we would do any asanas or any other practice. So I'm really excited to share the four purification breaths with you. They are Nadi Shodan, Kabalabhati, uh, the next one is Agni Sardoti, and then the last one is Ashvini Mudra. So I'm going to explain those to you in English. Those are the Sanskrit names for them. The first one is Nadi Shodan, which means alternate nostril breathing. So what happens when we do this breath is that we shunt blood from one nostril um, being open into one hemisphere of the brain and then into the other so that it causes a balancing in the brain hemispheres. So we're going to do this breath for a few rounds and as I mentioned they say three rounds to start then up to ten. I'm just going to see how the flow goes and then we'll stick with the um, we'll stick with the four counts for the other breaths. All right so for Nadi Shodan, you take your dominant hand and you're going to bring in your three fingers and you're going to make your hang loose symbol. True story that Hakili, I can't remember his last name, he accidentally cut off his three fingers at a sugarcane factory on Wahoo, but he was still so jolly he would wave at everybody every day. I just love that story. I should mention too, you can do this sitting in a chair, but just make sure you're really comfortable. We'll be sitting for a few minutes today. So we're going to start by Closing off our right nostril and inhaling through the left. Nice tall spine. And then close off your left nostril and exhale through the right. Then continue the inhalation on the right. Close it off, exhale left. Good, inhale left. Close off left, exhale right. The breath becomes like a horseshoe pattern. Inhale right. 
close it off, exhale left. Inhale left. Close it off, exhale right. Inhale right. Close it off, exhale left. Inhale left. Close it off, exhale right. Inhale right. Close it off, exhale left. Good. Inhale left. Close it off, exhale right. One more round. Inhale right. Close it off, exhale left. Inhale left. Good. Close it off, exhale right. At the end of the exhale, release your hand. Find a normal breath. And we'll go into three part breath just for a couple of moments. Three part breath is your next inhale, your belly rises, your diaphragm expands, and then the top of the breath, you fill your lungs from bottom to top. You don't bring your shoulders up, see if you can just keep them down. And then the exhale breath, three part breath on the way out. Lungs deflate, diaphragm flattens and moves in, and then at the end of the breath, the navel travels a little bit towards the spine. We'll learn about the locks or the bandhas in another class. So the next breath we're gonna do, find your three-part breath as much as you can right now. And I'm going to describe the next breath to you, which is called Kabbalabhati. So Kabbalabhati translates to skull shining. The intention is that we're giving our Ajna Chakra, our third eye, a little burst of mana, prana, inspiration. We're giving it a little burst of insight um, on this big breath. So what we do is we can take a nice meditative mudra with the hands, Gayan mudra, chin mudra, the thumb and the index finger together. This evokes an inner sense of wisdom. And again, watch your posture, make sure you're not slouching. If you need to switch the legs, you need to sit in a chair, that's totally cool. Our next breath we're going to do, we're going to inhale and then we're going to exhale rapidly. It's a chest breath and the navel is going to come in and out quickly. It looks like this. So we start on the inhale, eyes are drawn inwards and upwards and we basically pant but with our mouth closed. Good. If you've never tried that breath before, Start slower. The other variation you can do, in the Kundalini world, this breath is called breath of fire. And we start by learning it with the dog's pant. So we stick our tongue out of the mouth, we inhale, and we pant. Almost like a thirsty puppy, just panting in the sun. Good. So now we're going to put it all together. We're going to close the mouth. We're going to inhale. We're going to focus at the third eye. And we're going to do that rapid drawn release of the breath. If you're still getting used to this skull shining breath, then do it with the mouth open. So we inhale to prepare and begin. Good. Normalize your breath. Smile a little bit, soften your face. Enjoy this super oxygenation of your blood. It's going to help you detoxify. It might make you feel lightheaded. It might make a funny flavor on the tongue. And we're going to see how we feel. Two more rounds of Kabbalah Bhati. So we inhale and then a sharp, rapid, drawn release of the belly while we take a quick breath. Thank <laughs> you. 
Navel comes in and out quickly, chest breath. Gazes at the third eye, inwards and upwards. Five more seconds. Big inhale breath. Big exhale breath. Just normalize your breathing for a couple of moments. And we're gonna do that one more time. Just be aware of how you feel, if there's any sensations. Let's try it again. One more time, inhale. Good, rapid draw and release of the belly. It might start slower. First few times I tried this, I was <laughs> making all kinds of sounds. Five more seconds. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, big breath. And then just normalize your breathing. Smile, soften your face, notice how you feel. Again, no judgment, just see if you can, just be aware. If you need to, maybe switch the legs, put the other leg in front. Maybe you adjust your sitting bones a little bit. And maybe you just see if you can maintain a tall spine. We've got two more breaths to do. The next one is called the fire wash. Agni Sardoti. <laughs> Agni Sardoti. The intention is we inhale, we exhale, and then we pump the belly and we give ourselves a fire wash. The second chakra, first, second, third chakra, basically red, orange, yellow, you've got your fire at the belly. So we're gonna pump the belly and it's considered a digestive wash or cleaning. So we inhale, exhale, and then we bring the belly towards the low back as quickly and rapidly as we can. They call it pulling. So you can do 30 pulls in the first round and then we inhale again, we pause with the belly, inhale, exhale, and we do it again. We do that rapid draw and release. We're gonna try three rounds. Don't worry if you can't do 30. Try for 10 for the first couple of times. If you've done this before, go for your full 60. <laughs> All right, let's inhale, exhale. No breath coming in and out, pump the belly. Wash, fire wash, navel comes in and out. Stop, inhale, exhale, no breath, and we pump again. Use your visualization. Imagine you're adding some logs to your fire. You're digesting life. You're digesting food. Sadhguru says you eat a banana and the banana becomes you. You are God. I love that. Two more, last one, and then stop. Inhale and exhale. If you had to breathe sooner, that's totally fine. Exhale. Last round. No breath in the body, pump the belly. Fire wash. This is also a purification breath. So it's extremely powerful pranayama technique. Breath control. Good, wherever you are, keep going or release. Inhale. Exhale. Normalize your breath, inhale. Find a nice smooth breathing pattern while I describe Ashvini Mudra. This one is by far the most interesting slash awkward to explain but it is one of the four primary purification breaths for your sadhana, for your daily practice. You can do these four purification breaths and you can try it for 30 days before you do our video together. 
So we're on day 12, we're learning pranayama, and now we're learning the horse mudra. The reason they call it horse mudra is you're meant to imagine being behind a horse and seeing the horse have its ashvini, its mula band, or its root lock, open and close. All right? That's an image and a half, right? But basically what we're trying to do is give ourselves a digestive flush or pump. I talk about flushing your emotional toilet. This is going to actually help you flush your physical toilet. Anything that's backed up, you can't let go of. This helps prevent colon cancer, all that kind of stuff. This is the breath for you. So this is how it goes. We inhale, and at the top of the inhale breath, we pump the anal sphincter 10 to 15 times. So you can't see me do it, but I'm going to imagine, I'm going to show you my hand doing it. And then you imagine a horse pumping in and out. So contracting and releasing your perineum, your pelvic floor, all of the area around the anal and rectal opening. <laughs> Woo! What a class! We're going to inhale, pump 10 to 15 times. We're going to exhale, do nothing, and then inhale and begin again. Remember, this is helping your digestive system and it's also preventing any type of digestive cancers. Prevention of cancer, really good thing. Drink more water, take deeper breaths, do the horse mudra. <laughs> Fascinating class. All right, we inhale and we pump at the mula bond, what's also known as the root lock, the base of the spine. We pump in and out on a full breath, not the belly, lower down, and then pause, exhale. Then we inhale again and begin again with that lock. Inhale, the root pumping in and out, open, close as much as you can. The muscles that control our bowel movements, tighten them, tone them, become very aware of how the base of your spine and how the base of this area feels. I won't demonstrate on round three. Good, when you're done, exhale. Don't worry if you can't do as many, just see how it feels. It's a weird one, it's weird, it's hard to teach, but I love you and I'm doing this for us. <laughs> Last round, inhale, close your eyes, focus on the root lock, and you pump and release, pull and release, just a very small movement, the muscles that you use to control the flow of your number two, your bowel movement, your poopy. <laughs> You're gonna feel perineum muscles tightening as well, that's the muscles underneath, of course, for controlling the flow of urine, Good, exhale, stop the pump, and here we are. If that was the weirdest thing you've ever done, you're welcome. I'm so glad to be your guide. It's such a strange part of the body to talk about, however, it's extremely important. So thank you for coming today. Let's rub our knees. I love you knees. We're gonna press our Fingers into the middle of the chest, into our thymus area, into CV17, conception vessel 17, and we're going to think joyful thoughts. First of all, we've learned a breath that is very good for balancing the hemispheres of our brain. The second breath we learned is extremely good for inspiration and for just breaking through any blocks or stagnancy. The third breath we did for our fire wash helps our digestive function, it helps our passions come up from the lower chakras and come up into the upper body. And the fourth breath we did, the horse Mudra is for digestion, for helping eliminate, to help let go, to release what you no longer need. I love you so much. Thank you for being on this journey with me. 
We're so happy to be part of this class. And if you're just doing pranayama for purification breaths for fun, amazing. If you're on day 12, I'm so grateful and proud of you. We've made it this far. You're amazing. Let's bring the hands together at the heart. My heart is so full. Today is a very special day. It's my dad's birthday and wherever he is on the other side. I know he's here with me today. I'm getting very emotional already. I have been for a couple days already. But thank you so much for being part of this. And my girlfriend yesterday said to me, it's like watching the Beatles in a small little bar before they got famous. <laughs> That made me feel so happy. So wherever you are, take a nice deep breath. Inhale, a beautiful compliment to yourself. Just simple, I love me. Exhale, I love you. And we'll have the hands at the heart. Bow the head. We dedicate the merits of our practice to all sentient beings. May all beings be relieved of their suffering, and may we dwell together with great fruitfulness and harmony. Namaste. Thanks everyone. You are awesome, and I can't even say how grateful I am for you. Thank you.